What's up, Ainy Babies? What's up, Ainy Babies? You guys, so I'm going to attempt to do a quick, <laughs> you know, your auntie like to talk. I'm going to attempt to do a quick follow-up to my Monique video um, that I posted yesterday. Just because so much stuff is still popping off in the world of Club Shay Shay and the drama and Monique and the DL of it all. So here we go, okay? So I was up, you know guys, I did my video yesterday and throughout the course of the night I watched several different videos people commenting on um, the Monique interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay um, again I enjoyed the video I enjoyed the interview she's very she's a very articulate and compelling speaker she can story tell so I enjoyed the interview again a lot of it is stuff we've heard before but uh, there are a couple of new items um, we're not going to get into that. We went into that yesterday in an hour long video. So anyway, first thing I noticed on my timeline this morning was that Charlemagne the God had given himself donkey of the day and apologized to Monique. And then they proceeded to open up the phone lines to get comments and commentary from different viewers and listeners, which I thought was commendable and you know with Jess being from Baltimore and that being her girl you knew she was going to speak up for uh, Monique um, but they actually went and did the exact they came with the same energy basically now you put on donkey of the day and then you open up the phone lines to, to try to get people to down talk her well now in reverse they had to uno reverse and now they um, brought up the same topic. He given himself donkey of the day and opened up the lines. And of course, those folks who initially did not agree with him making her donkey of the day, those people, some of them called back in and said, see, we told you. <laughs> it's none of your business. Mind your business. But anyway, that was good to hear um, and see because I do watch The Breakfast Club on YouTube. So anyway, um, but yeah, that was about six years ago. And so many of the people who were calling in uh, basically were showing support to Monique and basically saying that it's, it's sad that it takes someone like a Taraji P. Henson to, for anyone to take the, the content of what she was saying seriously when it's a valid subject it's true it does happen um, and that she had the right to stand up for herself it took Taraji standing up for herself for people to say yeah Monique did it back then and she was valid in doing it so here we are but moving right along I also saw the D.L. Hughley um, did a response to Monique and what she said and my first initial thoughts in listening to his response was a hit dog will holler hey Nikki didn't uh didn't uh Megan just say this last week a hit dog will holler you know I like both of these guys I comedy is funny is subjective just like beauty is kind of subjective what one person looks at as beauty another person thinks is ugly and same thing goes with comedy what you find funny I may not find funny what I find funny you may not find funny so you got to kind of give these these people these comedians grace when you're talking about who's funny and who's not because again I don't find Kevin Hart funny millions upon millions of people do, do. so I can't say he's not funny I can say he's not funny to me um that being said, I just wish that they could both find the grace to, to forgive each other a bit, just have a conversation, and then move forward. Because um, DL just, he, and again, it started with attacks about her weight. He was fat shaming. Then he went into uh, talking about, he talked about the incident on the radio that he pulled it down because uh, he wanted to, which basically didn't happen like that because she came back and responded to that. Um, but he said that he took it down on his own, that 
uh, she was a horrible person, this, that, and the other. Her family doesn't love her. She has to pay the man to love her. It was just so lowbrow, and it was unnecessary for someone that I hold in such high esteem as I do DL. When the situation occurred years ago where Monique reposted um, the post that DL made, yes, DL put the post out first about his daughter's pain. He made it public. She was wrong for reposting it. That's no doubt, no sh no shade, no no nothing. You were wrong, sis. And when that incident occurred years ago, I remember reposting things he was putting out about her because I felt he was in the right to to feel the way he did for what she had done. She had no she had no reason to go put that that girl's information at all or repost it or try to say to use that as a measure of his character her pain as a measure of his character. It was wrong, she shouldn't have done it. We all said that. She she caught the heat, she caught the backlash, and she did apologize. So you can't, I don't fault DL for feeling how he feels about Monique, that he doesn't like her. Um, but it's, it's, there's a point where it, it shouldn't really matter to you anymore. You say she's irrelevant, that she's nothing, she's not funny, blah, 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 whatever. Why are you so triggered? <laughs> when I deal with people who mean nothing to me, who are saying anything about me, even if they're telling a lie or a falsehood, I generally just don't say anything. Um, Shannon Sharp, his grandmother, he, he quoted his grandmother saying, uh, baby, never chase a lie. That is one of the best quotes I've ever heard in my life. The best sayings, the best, because it means don't chase. Why are you trying to justify something that was said that was wrong? Because you want to look right? Just leave it, let it go. Same thing with T.D. Jakes. He's, he's not chasing the lie. Why am I going to make a statement about a lie if I know it's a lie? If you know she's lying, just say she's lying. You didn't have to come with all the vitriol. I'm, that's my only thing. I really hate seeing the people that I like and I support going low. But he did it. I understand the animosity. I understand the, the, the feelings. Um, that was his child. Um, and she was wrong for doing it. Um, so a little bit later on in the day, and y'all, it's just... It's... it's never ending I don't know I'm hoping it'll end um but Monique and her husband put out a video in response to DL um in the video they cleared up the fact that there was no cease and desist that was issued however um Monique says she ended the conversation with DL by saying hey if you're not gonna if you're gonna put it up then I'll have to reach out to my attorney um, she made some statements saying that she was going to reach out to an attorney because she didn't want to post it. She said there were some emails sent to his people from him involving her lawyers back and forth. And eventually, seeing that they were serious about taking legal action, DL scrapped the whole project, the whole interview, and never put it up. So, tech, so it's it's kind of... it's. It, it's just picking, it's nitpicking him saying he took it down on his own versus she saying, no, my lawyer sent you emails and that's why you didn't put it up. He didn't put it up either way. So, I mean, it's, it's nerve wracking. People always want to be, they fight to be right. No, I'm better than you because I'm right. No, I'm better than you because I'm right. And you both have some wrong in all of this, back and forth, both of you. Because DL, you have said things about her in the past and her husband. I follow your page so I know I've seen you say things. It's obvious you don't like the lady and it's obvious she don't like you. Can we just agree that that's just what it's gonna be and move along, keep it, keep it pushing? This whole, <laughs> these interviews, these situations show me, prove to me that these celebrities are just like us. They're human. They're no better. They're no worse. They're just like us.
They have the same emotions. They go through the same issues, the same trials, tribulations, ups and downs. And they also have some of the same character flaws. Because the same thing that would have you going back and forth talking about who's right, who's wrong, we do the same dumb stuff. When in the end of it, no, none of us are going to get a prize for being right or wrong or punishment. If you know you're right, walk in it. Okay. Well, that's my update on that. I just had to come on because, again, it's still going back and forth. And I don't think they'll ever be friends or... But I would hope that they could come to a place where there's not that level of... <sighs> just nastiness it's nasty yeah i don't want to see you acting like that and i understand i mean how you feel about this woman you don't have to love her you don't even have to like her you don't have to respect her but i'm looking at you and your character you and how you respond and it's unsettling to see you talk to a woman that way any woman is that how you talk to the women in your life when you're mad at them not talking about your family, your co-workers, your colleagues, other colleagues. Do you speak to those women like that when you're angry? It's unnecessary and I just hope that we all do better. Anyway, Auntie Babies, like, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.